It's time to unpack everything we're bringing with us. Arriving here in wonderful Sofia marks the 87th day of our one year journey. In the past three months, quite a few things have been sent home and a lot of things have moved around between the different bags. And all in all, we're pretty happy with our current configuration. Here is the tripod. And the microphone. Let's start by going over the bags themselves. We both have a 17 liter Epidura Expedition saddle pack. And we both have an Epidura Expedition frame pack as well. The difference between our frame sizes means that Didi's is a 3 liter and mine is a 5.3 liter. We also both have an Epidura Expedition handlebar pack. Didi has a slightly smaller 9 liter due to the lower clearance between handlebar and front wheel. Mine is a 14 liter. Mounted on the handlebar pack, we have identical 4.5 liter Epidura Expedition accessory pockets. Finally, sitting on the top tube, Didi has a 1 liter Epidura Racing top tube pack. And I am rocking a Topeg Top Loader 0.75 liter top tube pack. Let's go up and unpack everything. The first one, the small one. All the important stuff because it's right there, easy to yeah, to reach. Of course, phone and the wallet. I'm always the one going to buy stuff uh, because Henry is the biggest, so he keeps an eye on the bikes. That's actually this. I don't have any more of that. Inside, we have the Epic Multi Tool. This is a Leatherman. This is way more useful than I have ever thought it would be. Lighter. Nope, we don't smoke. A compass. Nope, probably not gonna use it. And a knife. This is a multi-utility knife because we use this for everything from Nutella to cutting. Fuck do I know? Anything, everything. Useful. Cloth for the lenses. Very important. That's it. I have all like like tickets and stuff, things I want to keep for scrapbooking. On the other side, tools to keep warm if an accident happens. Haven't used that. Hopefully we won't. Some of my contact lenses are here. I have a lot of these. This is by far my favorite bag. It's attached multiple places and it does not move an inch. Which means you can have all kinds of heavy stuff in here and it does not affect anything because it's sitting dead still. There's a slim flat pocket here, but the zipper is stuck in a place which means it's gonna keep my phone down there. So my phone lives here display facing out so it doesn't scratch. Uh, that's a pretty good place. And we have some spare spokes in here. I'm not gonna take them up because they are not interesting. On the other side, uh, deodorant. Someone might stink once in a while. Oh God, I'm sweating. Charging brick, 100 watts, three USB-C and one USB-A. Inside this beanie is the water cage for the GoPro. Extra propellers for the drone as a full set. This is very nerdy, but this is all the memory. This one, very important. This is a hard drive, five terabytes. It's rugged, it's waterproof, it's pressure proof. You can drop it, you can kill it, you can... We have USB-C to USB-C, USB-C to lightning. This is for our watches. This connects the hard drive. This is for the microphone and for the Garmin head unit. One of the most important bags. Well, it's two bags. In the front, I have all like toiletries, toothbrushes, 
water for my uh, contacts. They only got the big one. I wanted two small ones because it's easier to travel with, but this is the brand I'm used to, so it's good. Conditioner. I also have all of ours are like uh, electrolyte tabs. Mosquito spray, important. But we haven't actually used this in Sweden, I think. It's nice. Some cream, like balm from my favorite brand, Danish brand, Rudolf Care. It's really nice. Shavers. These for the ears. And you can only buy these big packages, so you're gonna have for many months here. This is smart. This is for brushing my hair, and it's small. It has a mirror, and you unfold it. A facial serum, just because I really, really like it. I know it's probably not what you would bring on bike packing, but I would. I like it. And I like my facial oil as well. Nail cutter and a, a small scissors and some tweezers in here. Eye drops. Earpods. Yeah. And some lady stuff. Ten packs. Yeah. And that's it for that bag. And in the other one, it's all my clothes. Oh. Biking shorts. I only use the non BB one <laughs> because when you go on a road and you need to pee, it's super annoying that you have to take your shirt off to take the pants down. So really, really nice from Asos. T-shirt. Yeah. Panties. Panties, panties. Shorts used for running. If we don't ride the bikes for multiple days, sometimes we go for a run instead. One sock. Probably I'll find the other one soon. Tank top for biking or running. T shirt for running. I don't think I need this anymore, but it's it's like so small. So I think maybe, maybe I'm gonna keep it. Sports bra, the other sock. Yay! This I really like. This is super light. This is shirt, and it's a little nicer than all the biking stuff. Tank top for biking or running. Black t-shirt just because it's nice. And long pants. And I really like these. Both for when it's cold or yeah, just chilling. This one, it's the handlebar unit. This is the one that comes off every day. That's what I wear almost every day. My own trail running shoes normally lives in here. Right now, I got the bike shoes in there. In front, that's the buff, the orange buff. Love this color. The drone lives here, controller. Come on. Extra battery for drone. Emergency blanket. And inside. Shoe covers. Windbreaker. This lives in the backpack every once in a while. If it looks like a dodgy day and the weather might turn around, I'm might be keeping this along with the long sleeves in the backpack for easy access. Woolly long sleeve. Wore this on multiple locations in Serbia. 
before that it was lying dormant in the seat back since Norway. That's one bike shoot. This is a base layer. I am basically not using this. This is a tank top. This is for running bibs, which I am wearing when I'm on the bike. Undies. I'm wearing a set of undies too. And they normally stay in here because you don't wear undies underneath your bibs. This is the tank top I've been wearing. I bought this in Warshaw and I've been wearing this every day since Warshaw and it's been washed two times. Last shoe. The back. That goes in the back. All like snacks for the trip, uh, energy drinks always goes in here because it's easy to get. And then I have my biking shoes here, but uh, that's only because I'm using the other ones now. Otherwise, it's always these I have on, of course, on the bike. And I would have these instead of that. Like this. And usually I kept my sandals right next to these, but I lost one of my sandals and then I had to throw the other one out. And then I had to buy some new ones and they're quite nice and pretty. And I'm not gonna screw them up, so I don't have a good space for them yet. On a suit. But in here, Right now, these are, of course, also always on my hands when riding the bike. Right now, they're here. My jacket, windy and rain jacket, is down here because hopefully I'm not going to use it that much. And I have the covers for shoes when it's raining or windy. I bought a small pillow. I don't like the inflatable ones. I think they're really annoying sleeping on them. So this is really good. The liner, also really, really good. Mine is a bit warmer than Henry's is because I'm more cold at night. So I love this. Glasses, not using them much, but uh, I have coffee here. We're gonna use that because we now actually have we have this so we can make coffee. And I have long like undies for when it's really cold at night. I haven't used used these since Norway. Hopefully they will just stay in here. Running socks or just walking. This for when it's really, really hot and I'm sweaty. Headband, like this. Oh, if it's cold, that's nice too. If you don't want to wear a beanie or so. Headlight, haven't used that much. So all this is actually what I'm not, I'm never unpacking this, almost never, but I'm not using it much. Sunny, hot weather, running, haven't used it, but maybe I will. Bathing suit. I've used this in Sweden. And I don't think I have used it since, but I hopefully will in Asia. A merino beanie. Bandit. We're not going to use that, but we have it, just in case. And I found this book at a hostel. I don't know if I'm going to read it. <laughs> I haven't yet, so maybe it's just staying here. Extra tube. I know we are tubeless, but it's nice to have. And all of my contacts. These are monthly, these are daily. So I actually have for two months here, 
and it's a bit big. But again, if we're in the mountains and I can't wash my hands properly, this is really nice to have because you have to be really clean when putting things in your eyes. So yeah, I just need these. Strap if you need to strap something more tight. And sleeping bag. A small towel. Yeah, this is a uh, like for drinking water with a filter. If you can't reach clean water, you can put it in here, and it, the filter will take all the crap. So it's good to have warm socks. That was it for this. Everything I almost never use. Hat. When it rains and if we are going on a run and on an extremely sunny day I'll wear this. Raincoat. You know. Asthma medication. Antihistamine. Extra batteries thingy to connect uh, headphones to USB-C. Running shorts. Sleeping bag. Razor to cut my hair. This is the rain cover for the backpack. Drops for my eye because I have a strange rare eye disease sometimes. Uh, inflatable pillow. Long johns. Headband. When it's extremely warm and I sweat like a pig, I put this here under the helmet so my sweat doesn't run into my eyes. Nice. Woolly socks. Extra tire. This is a 30. Five, and we are running 40s now. Liner for the sleeping bag, so if it's super difficult, we use this. And if it's really, really warm, uh, we use this too. Except we don't use the sleeping bag if it's warm, only this. Sun hoodie, a genius invention, except I don't use it. I used it once and I loved it, and for some odd reason I didn't use it the next day. This is microphones and these are microphone recorders and they are super duper important. The freedom that you have is because of the people lived in the past. Backpack. Oh yeah, let's not forget the backpacks. They are both from Osprey. Didi's is a silver 12 liter, mine is a Synchro 20 liter. They are designed for biking and have the airspeed mesh, making them pretty comfortable even when we are sweating. As you'll see in a moment, they are both almost empty when we are on the bikes. It's when we are exploring cities and when we are on the occasional train, ferry or flight that they become really useful. So of course this is almost always on. So when we ride, if it's cold, I have this thin light jacket. I really love wearing it's good in the wind, it keeps me warm. If it's not on me, it's in here. And I have my sleeves above. This is really good too. I should probably wear it tonight. Trash. <laughs> and a flag. Sunscreen, important. In big room here. I always keep my charger and until now we have used this for coffee and it's super not handy but now we have a new one coming smaller so we're actually gonna throw this away. The vest for the wind important and is Small. I always have some extra toilet paper. I have extra contact lenses. These for carrying lenses. I have a light to put in the front of the bike and I also have to put in the bag of course. I can't find that now though. Lip balm. A bomb to put on mosquito bites if it's itchy. 
and of course lady stuff 10 packs and right now i keep my new book in the bag i bought this agatha christie book that is actually it for my stuff and of course i have a warm sweater as well usually goes in the back but right now i'm using it all the time so that's it this is MacBooky laptopy. The only other thing in the backpack is whatever kind of clothing I might need on a certain day. If it's hot and just flat out warm every day, every hour of the day, I will not wear these. And they will be living in the handlebar bag. But if there's any chance at all that I might be cold, I'll put these in the backpack so they are easy accessible. The shirt is a drifter. It can stay in the handlebar back. It might stay in the back, in the seat back, and it might stay here. If it's a short ride and we only have maybe 20 kilometers, and I know that when we arrive, I'm gonna need this because it might be somewhat chilly. It goes in here because it's so much easier. And that's basically it. Aside from that, this is empty, and I barely feel it being there. The light on it. Well, I thought I knew what life was all about, but the song had already been sung. I was going on, still minding my own business, never knew. At the beginning of the journey, we also had a tent with us, the Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL2.